Hello everyone, it's Declan from Save Decks here with Dave, hello. Also from Save Decks Gaming. Funny that. So today we're going to be discussing our thoughts on Nintendo's E3 presentation. Um, games oh. they have announced, games we're liking. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we have our reaction already on uploaded, but um, we've had time to think about it now and sort of get our thoughts together and just go through what we saw, let you know our thoughts. So this is going to be relatively quick fire. It's going to be discussing things they've announced and just our thoughts, annoyances and the usual. Cool. So, the hero. Yes. I mean, there was rumours of Dragon Quest. People, I can't remember the name of the character. The L, hero. Yeah, you know, L something. Yeah, I'm not that, a big Dragon Quest but person. But I'm, I'm I've never played a Dragon's Quest. Um, I... I can respect Dragon's Quest being in Smash. It's a long-running franchise. It's been on Nintendo plenty of times. I know Square Enix um, do a good job on those games, yeah. obviously. So it's nice to get representation from it. So I'm not disappointed. But again, I have not bought the Fighters Pass um, before this because it's two characters, Joker and the hero characters I don't know, so I'm not excited about. Will I buy that Fighters Pass? Well, you'll find out later in this video. Hint, hint. And it's nice you got like the different characters as alternate costumes as well. Yes. But I'm guessing the hero is just like you name the character. So really you could bet anyone from Dragon's Quest that you name yeah. in this game. That's a pretty cool idea. So then also got the new Dragon's Quest game. That's been announced for September 27th. Again, just not really for me, but it's cool for people that like it. Yeah. Luigi's Mansion 3, I think that's going to be a big one for you. I'm annoyed they didn't announce a release date for it. Just 2019 yeah, still. Yeah, so we know it's this year. Um, so maybe in September they'll tell us, say, coming out October or December, maybe. Um, but I I'm think thinking, October, because the halloween -y. Yeah, I'm thinking that, but also there's nothing for December at the minute. No, there isn't. You're correct. There. And so that's the Christmas month, so that's when Merry they want to get something big. I mean, compared to Smash Brothers, it's not going to be as big a game, but... Um, but anyway, I quite like the look of this game. It's um, got co-op in it with Gooigi. Yeah, with, yeah Gooigi. And that you can play And it. multiplayer, like in the tower. Yeah, the Dark Moon. So the Scare Scraper, they're That's calling it. it. Where you can play online. Can you play online with friends? Who knows? Probably Who knows not. with Nintendo? Um, so I'm looking forward to Luigi's Mansion 3. It's back to one mansion or hotel this time. And it looks like it's quite, it presented it quite well with a... Um, like advertising the hotel basically yeah which was really cool i thought and it's nice that Luigi has abilities luigi can't do like going through certain obstacles but yeah. luigi can go through water so it's like you switch between them to yeah. get two things i really i really like i'm really looking forward to this game <laughs> i can tell dark crystals now i'm sure dark crystals is a movie or a tv show years ago oh because it's ringing a bell is that the jim henson one it could be the Dark Crystal with the puppets. I think so. Yeah, so Netflix are doing another one. So was that for a that was for a game, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was a game. Yeah, I remember it now. It's like a Fire Emblem style. Yes, thing. it is. It's the Jim Henson fan cause. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's based on that. So Netflix has now got the rights to it. But I saw when I saw this trailer, I saw that Netflix logo in the corner, and I'm like, are they putting Netflix on the Switch finally? But no, no, because they've also like got that. the Stranger Things games. Which yeah, again true. is Netflix. But just that when I mean what I mean is when I saw that Netflix logo, I thought that's what they were revealing. Yeah. But then we've got Link's Awakening. Oh we've, yes. Oh no, sorry, Dark Crystals is announced for twenty nineteen. Then so, we've got um Link's Awakening, which again yes, twenty nineteen. Um, we got a date for that. It yeah. was it was leaked from Japan's Amazon yeah, site. Sept September twentieth. Yep. So that was a lot so I thought that would be the December release, but it's not, but I yeah. mean, they showed off, you've got a dungeon creator now, yeah. but it's not like a Mario Maker style, do whatever you want, it's like a puzzle thing, you have to... You build it up, you you unlock... Um, assets. Yeah, you, assets, but you unlock basically rooms. Fixed, doing, fixed rooms, basically. Yeah, yeah, they're fixed rooms, which will have either a chest, etc., and then you can build them into um, certain arrangements that you unlock as well, yeah. and you unlock uh, rupees for doing that. Then they've announced a Link's Awakening Amiibo. Yeah, it was which, in the treehouse. Yeah. yeah, so we watched a bit of the treehouse that showed um, off that. Yeah, which will work with it. That will allow you to um, have 
a dark link chasing you through. So yeah, to me, I like that. Yeah, to As... me that made me think of Metroid. Because um, the Metroid game where you have the dark <laughs> Samus yeah. following you. Yeah. Also, um, some of the Mario games had sh- uh, Shadow Mario, like uh, Cosmic Mario, Mario Galaxy, and in yeah. 3D Land you had levels where the clones were chasing you. Yeah. So like that's pretty cool. That's the challenge, and the game looks beautiful. It does. Absolutely beautiful. Really happy with it. I'm. I'm hoping the job in your time no not yeah. Oracle of Ages and Seasons <laughs> in that sort yeah. of um, in that style. style I think that would be but, really good yeah that would be cool like the Oracle collection but yeah it is just Link's Awakening I thought there'd be like Link to the Past or something attached to it but it is a standalone game I wonder how much that's going to cost yeah <sighs> will they charge 40 quid for it bloody hope not no nah, but we'll see um, Trials of Mana is early 2020. Yes, that's pretty good. Because I know Secret of Mana got a, a remake a few years ago. Yeah, and it was yeah. only on PS4 and Vita. It didn't come to the Switch. Or the Xbox. Uh, no, so um, I'm glad that the, the, the another one is actually coming to the Switch this time. Yep. So I've, I've played Secrets of Mana on the virtual console. I liked that one. So yeah, I, I actually might... The Kinder Sons, we're getting the collection as well. Yep, that's my next thing. So that's releasing today... Yes, and um, that's something I'm going to check out later. So by the time you guys get to hear this and listen to this, that is going to be available. I don't know the pricing, but it's a collection, so it's probably going to be about 20, 30 quid. Maybe, uh, maybe 20, I'd say, because they are old games, aren't they? Is this, yeah. I mean, obviously the remake will cost be full price, but the SNES ports will be, like, of secrets and stuff. They, they wouldn't charge 30 quid for that. No, that is true. They're not Capcom. <laughs> then we've got Witcher 3 uh, the complete edition yeah that was sort of um, that came out of you know that that's word. been leaked for yeah. years yeah that was the, I mean it was very prominent in recent days though that it was coming yeah. so yeah not, not surprised to see that and, again but again a, a, a good a good game for the Switch yeah really good port again that comes out this year and all the DLC included exactly so yeah. that'd be a really fun one great one to take on the train um, I've got that on my laptop and I, I have been known to bust out on the train just Immerse myself in the world, same with Skyrim. Uh, Resident Evil 5 and 6 are both um, coming. Yeah, I mean, uh, they've released all the other resis, so... Well, yeah, we've got 1, 2 and 4. And 0. And 0. No, not, not 2. 2 and 3 haven't been ported. Yet. Oh, so it's 1, Z- one 0 and, and four. 4. So then we've got 5 and 6. Now, um, I know uh, 5 and 6 aren't well-loved games, but I liked 5. I say five. Mm. I've got good news for you. I've never played six. I mean, I've got it on the PS3. I I mean, it's more of a straight-up shooter rather than a survival horror. Which, again, um, for Resident Evil, people are disappointed. But I'm from what I played, it's it's all right. It's not all right game. Just not what people think for the series. It's just not what people wanted. But I mean, Resident Evil Five has a good co-op and. And I had it on the Xbox 360 and I played it online with a friend like the whole way Ooh, through. Nintendo and, games. Yes. Yeah, will that let you play with friends online? But it's Capcom, not Nintendo, in charge of it. So, this but they're, they're going to charge 30 quid each for them though. That's the true. disappointing thing. Um, no More Heroes 2020 is yes. coming out in 2020. I'm really happy because as soon as I saw that, I was like, that's No More Heroes. And you, you looked, were. you're like, what? I was like, no, it's No More Heroes. And it was. So really excited. We, the creator of No More Heroes, mentioned something on Twitter um, because he's also crowdfunding to get uh, No More Heroes, the ones exclusive to Switch at the moment. He's trying to get it on PC, PS4, and Xbox. I think. I think they're already confirmed. I don't think they're confirmed. Like the Travis strikes again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's been confirmed. Oh, cool, because yeah. he was doing it on crowdfunding. He was doing it yeah. on Kickstarter or something. Yeah, I remember reading that. Um, but, yeah, uh, um, my favourite thing about that trailer was the fact that he's playing Ape Out. Yes. In the, in his, at the beginning. That I loved that. He just said the dead logo on the dead screen. That was quite cool. Uh, Quant- Contra, uh, remake, uh, not a remake, a new one in the series. I've only played... Um, See, I play actually. I played the first two Contras. They're fun games. They're yeah. Just you know, fun action. You can play as a panda in this one. Yeah. And that is so cool. And then Contra Collection released uh, today. Yeah, today that's been confirmed. That it was coming for a while now. But yeah. I'm glad it showed all the game because I think before they only showed four of the games on that collection. But now they showed all of them. But it was quite quick. I didn't actually let that sink in. But um, so yeah, that's something I'm gonna take a look at later. 
So then we also got That's Damon X Machina. A few, a few shadow drops from some some, thing, from some collections. Yeah, the they? collections seem to be shadow dropped. Demon X Machina, um, they opened with it last year. I didn't really care. Then they showed more of it back in February and gave us a demo. I played the demo. I didn't really care. I, I, I still don't care. <laughs> I agree. I'm not. It's not like a game I'm majorly into. I don't think it looks bad or anything. No, it just agreed. doesn't look for me. Um, it's not that it isn't for me. I found the gameplay slightly repetitive, like you've said yeah, to me before. Yeah, it said it was good. It did seem like that. However, I think they the reason they made that demo available so far in advance is they wanted proper feedback from people. Yeah. And I think if they actually are going to listen to the feedback and change things, I will be happy to give that a chance. So I'm up for going. I hope it. they put another demo up before when it comes out. I'll be surprised so if they see. don't. I mean, if yeah. you, that, that would shock me. But yeah, it's not something I'm particularly excited about. I mean, not, I'm not saying it's going to be bad. I'm not. It probably will be a really good game for it, but it's just not really my thing. Not your thing. Yeah. So then we've got uh, Panzer Dra- uh, Dragoon. That's winter this year. What was that? Panzer. Oh, that one. Yeah, I, if you see our reaction to this one, I couldn't read that title. That no. P looked like a D. I, was and I, was like, really I thought it was like Danza Dragoon because it would be alliteration. Yeah. Is that one where he's riding on the... Dragon. The one that I thought looked like Star Fox. Yeah, on it the made dragon. me think of a game I used to have on the PC years ago. We're talking about 10, 15 years ago. Oh, so right. I don't know if it's a continu- continuation of that franchise. Or like that one, yeah. But I thought, oh, is it Star Fox? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, just going back. Uh, Day Next Macro, they've actually given us a release date, 13th of September. Yeah. We didn't have a release date before uh, today. A week, week before um, Zelda. Yep. Yes. So that I think that could be a little bit risky... Because I'm thinking people, if you're if you're thinking people will be spending money, Zelda is a big console pusher. Yeah. You know, people do go for the Zelda games, and even if it's only thirty quid, thirty quid and a fifty quid game, that's a lot of money to be spending. Tell you what, hello. Um, when people say about the Switch, like how Nintendo themselves are very slow with their releases, and they they usually on a good couple of months they'll do one game per month. They're getting two exclusives in the same month, like a week apart. Yeah. On the, that, that was quite good for Nintendo. That is really Switch. good for Nintendo. <laughs> um, we've got Astral Chain coming on 30th I, I, August. I am so excited for Astral Chain. I'm really liking how um, it's looking. I mean, I love Bayonetta. I love the wonderful 101. I just love the work these guys do. Um, yeah, it's, this is going to be fun. I mean, yeah, just fun action, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Now it's, it's a we, day. It's the day before my wife's birthday, so I'll get that for her for her birthday. So you could play it. Yeah, she is just if she doesn't like it, I'll say, oh, well, I'll just play it then. So thirtieth of August. Do we have that release date before? I didn't think we, we did. did. Um, in the February direct. Oh, okay. It was yeah. that is quite recent. That's I don't fine. Think, I don't think I wrote it on the calendar. No, no, I didn't. Okay. okay. <laughs> then we've got Empires of Sin. That looked like a Red Dead Redemption top-down yes. kind of game. And then um, I thought it was La Noir. Yeah. Because of the clothes they were wearing. Yeah, and then it's got... There's another game that's come out um, and has now been ported to the Switch. It's like a gangster game. Are they not? No. <laughs> it's like a gangster game, and then you have to buy places. And I think this is made by the same developers. I think this could be a sequel. Because oh, right. the idea is you buy, like, you go to a, a coffee shop or something, you're like, hey, you got to pay me for protection. Oh, and right. then you buy the places. And that's what that, is, that map screen is, at the end looks like. That the map, builder. So that map screen, is that like the main gameplay? And is the gunfights just... No, so the gunfights are the main bit. So you and are the, controlling the gunfights. You gun are fights. controlling the gunfights. Okay, and cool. then the map screen, on the one I'm on about, that you then go on to, to like hustle people. Because uh, I was kind of worried that the no. gunfights was going to be all like cinematics and... You just can set start it off or something. No, I don't think so. That's coming out twenty twenty, which would be nice. Yeah, that's next year. Uh, the new Hyrule game what was it? Uh, Cadence of Hyrule. Yep, that okay. is thirteenth. Yeah, two days away from two the days away. time of this recording. Yeah, thirteenth of June. So I'm buying that for my birthday. Uh, mm-hmm. That looks really good. I like those games anyway. So I, I didn't play the Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but um, the fact good. they put Zelda in this has made me interested. Yeah. So, Ugh, Sonic and Mario Olympics comes oh, out in I'm, November. I, I, I'm looking forward to this. So I, I, 
I have fun with them. To me, it's the same as FIFA and WWE. It's the same game every year. They just bash it out. Yeah, true. But speaking of bashing it out, we saw Peach kicking Tails in the head in this trailer. That's true. I mean, I want to do that again. That's just worth its price for price of admission. Yeah. And Bowser doing ribbon gymnastics, and if they bring that back. That's true. That is hilarious. But... Then we've got um, Animal Crossing. Oh, Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately... This has been delayed to 2020, which yeah. they did acknowledge has been delayed. Yes, they, they, they didn't just like it. rush that under the rug. They actually said, look, it has been delayed. We're sorry. So I'm, I'm really but, happy that they I, did that. I do like it when they say things like, um, oh, yeah, we want, it's because you know, we, we care about, we want to make this game the best it can be. And I'm like, well, what was your excuse for Amiibo Festival then? <laughs> It's the best that Amiibo Festival could have been. No, it was not, because they could have put, made it more like Mario Party. Anyway, we're not getting into that. But... Mario Party's gone downhill too, I'm afraid. Yes, it did. But... Um, Animal Crossing looks really cool. We're on island this time. Um, yes. But it, I, I thought it was like you ship, ship, shipwrecked, but it looks like it's a resort or something. Yeah. Because the Nooks are in charge of it. Yeah, that's true. And then, I liked how they acknowledged in the trailer about them overpriced and then say it's only a little fee or something and it's yeah, forty nine thousand. Yeah. Um, I liked like the pole vo- pole vaulting and stuff. It looks like you've got a building system. So like she made the the character was female and she made um weak axe was it or something yeah a crafting she made, system yeah there's a crafting system which I really like so hopefully um, you're not in Tom you Lips. get more residents and, but no sign of Isabel yet yet but I'd be very shocked because she, she was in the original trailer oh yeah she yeah but that was a smash trailer in disguise yeah true and then Tom Nook was the main announcement so that's true then but then he did say I oh, better get things ready for when they come back so yeah so I'm hoping she's that maybe it. the next trade of Animal Crossing will show Isabel coming back from all the fighting with a br- black eye. <laughs> yeah, black. <laughs> um, okay, just warning anyone if you got headphones in, please turn the volume down now. So there's a certain character that might have come to a certain video game, and it might have made a certain person here scream. Oh. So, I think Banjo might be coming to Smash Bros. Oh, yeah, complete rubbish. Not interested at all. Oh, cool. So, we'll skip to the next announcement. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's talk about Banjo and Smash. Come on. Now, here's the thing, right? When they do Smash trailers, they started off with one. They usually do, like... Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> they usually... <laughs> so I got a bit excited there. Yeah, the hearing up to a red. I'm going to have to edit that in a minute. <laughs> He's making more work for me. Okay, should we start that bit again? That's right. Okay. Okay, so, um... Okay, so Banjo is in Smash. Now, when they do Smash trailers, they usually leave it as like a one more thing at the end. Then we see the whoosh, 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 yep. crosses. They didn't do that. They just had it as a normal trailer. And they started it off with the heroes and villains thing from the beginning of the K. Rule trailer. Yep. And then they were just replaying the K. Rule trailer. But he was in the hut. Yeah. And I thought, this is Dixie Kong then. Yeah, I and said that too. I was like, oh, it's Dixie Kong. You're right. And then... The jiggy bounces across. Yeah. And then Get they, look, with it. they look out the window, see the silhouette. It's a fake out. It's. Um, I thought Don't it was. Come. I thought it was going to be Minecraft Steve there actually as the fake out. And but then Banjo comes down. He was holding a banjo and swung it. And basically, I worried when I saw the shadow of that because I thought, oh, is that not the stuff from Nuts and Bolts? But no, that then it's Banjo to be raring to go. What a brilliant pun. I love because I thought it would be gets jiggy with it, would be yeah. the pun for them. But no, raring to go. Then we see Spiral Mountain and it looks like it rotates. Yeah. So that'll be pretty cool. And so I think you're gonna be able to go up and down the spiral. Yeah, like as as the platforms appear. Yeah. And it looks like Grunt Hilda's a stage hazard by the looks of it. Yeah. She showed her flying around. Bottles and was showed... there. Um bottles of mole. Yeah, it, it showed there. her um a the walk over to her car, her cave. Yeah, so you could probably go along that bridge when it's rotate. I'm I'm guessing it'll stop at points. I hope so. So you can fight properly like that. And then you saw the moves. You saw like he slams her like that move in Banjo Tooie. Yeah. And like the grenade eggs are there, and like he's carrying Kazooie. And that the spring shock pad is like the up B. I'm guessing. Yeah. It showed that it the showed explosion. Them, um, is that him? Explosion. Uh, there was that like, the grenade egg that exploded. Yeah, I think so. Um. 
and then it was like oh so many moves like it looked like his double jump was that double jump from Banjo Kazooie where Kazooie comes out and flats and yeah yeah oh my god there was just so much to take in there and the final smash was the Gingernator which I called I said that'll be it but not just that but it shows whoever gets attacked falling off of Gruntilda's lair and into the hole with the rock falling on top just like spoilers um, it's, it's a 20 something old game no one cares about spoilers for that but my god Banjo is in Smash I am buying the fighter's pass once we finish recording this. He's a little bit excited in case you can't tell. <coughs> oh, my throat's gone. So then I have a chance to talk. So then the last bit, which our internet didn't want us to know about. It froze. And we got cross and we wanted to see Talk Talk. Um, it was a Zelda. So they are working on a Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. Yes. It looks like, obviously, it's set in the same world, because that's... Is it, though? Well, it's a, it's a direct sequel. But it showed the castle rising up, or if they get transported somewhere else. That's true. Because we were thinking, um, they could probably bash that game out in, like, three years, if they are reusing assets. Yeah, if it's the same, like with, um... Because, like, Majora's, Majora's Mask, Mask, they made that in a year, didn't they? Yeah, because Majora's Mask, every single character in it, it's previously yeah. been in it. And like, it the whole the, the engine was the same, like the yeah. controls. So if they reuse the same engine, have it in the same world, in fact, and yeah. just different stories. But, I mean, because I, I was worried it might be DLC at first, but I thought they wouldn't do a one more thing for DLC. No. It's, it's an actual sequel. So it's been over two years since Breath of the World came out. Yeah, so I could so, see it coming out next year. So it could be, yeah, a free year. Because, like, Breath of the Wild between... Because um, it was, like... Five years. Yeah, five years since Sky, and that was building it from the ground up here. It's not built from the ground up, pr- presumably. If they use the same world and the same... Um, They're going to be using some of the same assets. Yeah, I mean, it, it should have the same sort of gameplay style and controls and stuff. And same graphic style, so yeah, things like graphics, trees so, and... Yeah, you know. they don't have to recreate them. But I just hope, if it's the same world, I hope it's more populated this time. Yeah. I mean, it's set after... The calamity, and it's like I hope, like baby boomers, people can pop a few out. <laughs> but the thing, no, the thing is, um, I'm not talking just characters. I mean, like places more, to explore. Yeah, because it's like I know it's set in a time where the, it lands in ruin and stuff. But you go to like you everywhere you seem to go, and it tells you where you are. It just seems to be the ruins of something. I'm thinking, well, why can't it just be the actual place? Yeah. And I'm thinking maybe they've had, it's a few years later, they've had time to rebuild places. So it would be nice to see a fixed Hyrule. Yeah, that's And then, and then it gets destroyed again when that castle gets shot up, like in Paper Mario. Yeah, I could see that. Mm-hmm. I definitely could. So, guys, I think that <coughs> is everything for our... One more thing. Oh. Doug Bowser, let's talk about him. Ah, yeah, I did have him in my notes earlier. He wasn't in it much, but what he did was amazing. He's really funny. He's keeping on with the hilarity that Reggie had, and I'm really yeah, I was, impressed. I was, I was always, worried. I was worried when, not, but once you've, I looked back on videos he'd been in before and saw that he does have a sense of humour, but the fact that they had a thing where they had Bowser there, like, like not just someone in a suit, it was actually CGI Bowser. Yeah. And I, uh, like with a tie, wearing a tie. Yes. And like, and he was trying to do the speech, talk to the camera, but it was just roaring, like that, a nice, a nice, polite roaring as well. Yeah, it's like someone gave him a cough sweet. And then Doug Bowser was like, "Hey, you're not the right Bowser." Like straight away acknowledging his name. Yeah. And then they said, "Are you two related?" Yeah, we get that a lot. That's, <laughs> oh, Doug Bowser, you are going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Yeah. So. um... What are your, your favourite thing about that direct? I think the energy behind it. I think it was it was really exciting. Yeah, it was well, it was well paced. It was well paced. There's a few games that I personally am not interested in. Yeah, but I know on the flip side, there's games that I'm interested in that other people won't be. Yeah. I think there's a lot of variety. Where some years it's and almost like last, every yeah. yeah every single game in there. It's like appeals to the same audience. It's like it's like last year. It was like if you're not interested in Smash, then there's not much for you. Yeah. But um, but for people that are interested in Smash, it was probably the best direct thing ever done. Yeah. But um, but it's like I'd say with Ubisoft's direct this year, Ugh. like if like most announcements they made was Tom Clancy something or other. I found that so, really disappointing. Yeah. If if you like Tom Clancy stuff, then Ubisoft would have been great for you. I would suppose. But, 
and yeah, just dance. Like coming to the Wii. Yeah, but the, like the, the Wii has officially outlasted the Wii U. It has, but not only that, <laughs> just dance. I'm sorry, they just get a load of people dancing on bloody stage, and they don't even show gameplay. But um, contra, it was it um, contrast. Take a note of just dance because they've got a panda. True. And pandas are awesome. I hope it knows Kung Fu. I'm sure it does. So, that Skidoosh. is... <laughs> so that is everything from us tonight. Yes. Um, yeah, WS, so we'll, we've got another video to do, haven't we? We have. It's, it's going to be less positive. It's our things we wish they announced at E3 video. Yeah, things that were, yeah... Uh, yeah, so things that we're disappointed with with this director, and we're going to be moaning and cynical, so have fun with that. So, goodbye from Declan. And uh, night-night from me. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye.